Ready? Uh, I'm gonna do a Gemini. Gemini. Burdens and Queen of Wands. Dealing with the burdens and the Queen of Wands. Could be. Uh, it's just a pre shuffle, so. Knight of Swords. Possibly rushing in, doing something self thinking, something brave. Ooh, judgment. I'm walking away from what no longer serves you. Say, Holy Spirit, for this uh, life, there's so past number of uh, energy of uh, Gemini. What do they need to be aware of? It's the heart of the matter. Oh, this way. A surprise. Imaginary. Something uh, you've been dreaming of or imagining. Uh, gonna be a surprise. Something that's gonna surprise you anyway. In the heart of the matter. We got uh, is the challenge for our Gemini's, the twins. Okay, challenge is the King of Cups, a mature waters sign, possibly male. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be a water sign either. Just somebody who's in control of their feelings. A uh, good leader, upright here. So, somebody who's uh, chart, who knows when to let their feelings out. And he feels a lot for people. He that's one of his strengths is that he knows uh, the inner workings of men and women. But he uh, doesn't let it control him. He controls them. He's in control. Uh, let's see. Oh, the world reversed. So this means like, uh, this is just subconsciously, this means like all, just missing it by that much, almost completing a cycle, almost making it, almost like, per, almost perfection, but just one or two things shy, missing a few elements. You, miss, you didn't, you didn't go over your plans uh, as much as you thought you did, or you missed a few things actually. Mm. Um, Yeah, you either, uh, you, uh, there was some unseen contingencies that, uh, you didn't foresee coming, some, uh, contingencies that, uh, totally changed the outcome, and, but, uh, you can always try again, that's the uh, world reversed, that's subconsciously what you're thinking, uh, Oh, in the past you have uh, working hard at your craft, whatever it is. Nose to the grindstone, working hard, point, pumping out those uh, pentacles there. Uh, what do we have here? We have, oh, the Queen of Cups, so we got a match. We got a King of Cups and a Queen of Cups, so that's a couple there. The Queen of Cups is like uh, up there, like this. She was very lovey-dovey type person, uh, also in control of her feelings. She can, she really feels for people. She's got uh, a really big heart. So, uh, see the water flowing right by her throat in there. That's her. Uh, she takes her job very serious, but in like the emotional, like the way it affects people, the way it, uh, like she cares a lot about people. You know, she's the type of person that will give you a hug like when you need it. And she's just like, she can brighten you up your day, you know. Uh, uh, we have a new future for Gemini.
Gemini future future spirit future. This one? Okay. In the future you have the lovers. So that's your yeah, that's your third Gemini, so you know, we have the lovers in the future contract or uh could be uh a, a new lover, it could be uh, some kind of union of some kind. Uh some mountain in the background. Mountain will become before you get there, but mm, yeah, that's good. At least we know we're on the right track because this is Gemini reading, and it looks like the future is gonna go the way you want it to. If you, there's always ifs, right? It's like the, the way everything's supposed to go a certain way, but that is things always, there's always the way things change, right? You can change it, or if you allow other people to, they can change it, but. Normally, unless you allow, allow somebody in the way, can you change your, what you're destined to do, so, except you, which is always free will, right? Uh, what do we have influence? How are you influencing this situation, Gemini? Uh, oh, that's too many spirits, but I'll take it. Let me see here. Okay, we'll start off. We'll just go one from one. Sadness is how you're influencing it, so I don't know if you can be sad. But uh, sometimes this could mean overcoming addiction too. You see all the uh, glasses. There's the person's crying over these three cups that are spilt here, but they don't recognize the two cups behind them that are still full. There's still full cups there. So you just gotta cross this river of emotions, you get past the emotion, and you can start. You can even find more cups. You know what I mean? There's always hope. We got uh, hopes and fears or a page of wands, so somebody who's adventurous, uh, in and out, like this the Pope's man, I can't remember. I don't know if I think it's the Knight of Swords. Page of Wands. Page of Wands. Dark young man, faithful, a lover, an envoy, a postman. Yeah, this is the postman. This is the one who. Yeah. He gets, let's just say he gets around. The legends are true. And, yeah. So you're not the only mailbox he's, he's uh, delivering in. He's, he has to deliver to everybody on the box. So. I don't know. Just don't get too much. That's all I gotta say. Uh, what do we have in. in um, the lens you're looking through things, is, that's a good way to look through it, you're looking at it, you're uh, going within and looking through it, that you're getting help from your spirit guides or your angels, or your ancestors, which is always a wise thing to do, I always promote that, that's kind of like what this channel is about actually, uh, yeah, and the temperance is like, kind of like the second half of the, uh, of this card here, right? That's Gabriel there. He, uh, he's, uh, yeah, these, these two cards pretty much go together. This one's Gemini, this one's Sagittarius, so. Yeah, yeah they go together. This is like the second card of the lovers. That's the way I see it. Most people see it. And, uh, in the, um, environment is victory. So either you're having victory or somebody else is having victory. Um, good and the whole town's gonna see it so uh, but in uh, outcome you have you're guarded very very guarded for some reason and you're in your queen of swords energy which is kind of your energy it is your energy actually like Libra energy, basically, but yeah, Libra energy. So, see how she's waving in with one hand. She's like, "Come on, come on, come a little closer, or whatever." Like the Queen of uh, Swords gets a bad rap because or vice versa, she's cold or whatever. But she's not cold. She just she just tells it how it is, right? She's not trying to butter you up. She's not gonna like uh, 
she'd make a shitty fucking car salesman. Let me put it that way. Because she's going to say, oh, fuck, the motherfucker's going to fall off. This motherfucker is going to do this. It's going to blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? She's going to tell you all what it is. She's not going to sell you a piece of shit. But she's probably not going to sell very many cars unless they're all, you know, pristine order, right? But she waves you in and she's like, yeah, come a little closer. I can't believe this. And she's one thing she can't stand is a lie. So, like, if she might lie to you, she literally, she's got that sword ready. And she's not going to use it. That's why she gets a better rap present. I love, I love the queen swords. <laughs> uh, uh, actually, I've been in my queen swords energy for, for quite a while now. But you can't stay in that energy. Or you, like I say, you, 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 it's pretty hard to have friends when you live in my heads, right? Uh, what do you got in uh, the underlying energy? This one means, uh, this could mean the government, so this could be like uh, the government, and this means like a religious leader, so somebody who's like, and he's upright, so this religious leader is uh, basically, uh, yeah, I don't know, just, you, you guys figure out your story, but yeah, I don't know, this religious leader and government are somehow getting together, um, for good or bad, I don't know how it ends up in your situation, but yeah. Mm, this is also Aries energy, and this is Taurus energy. So. But yeah, this could be a religious. This could also just mean a community leader. It could mean a religious organization of some kind, a church, or whatever you're covering, whatever you're into, or any kind of like religion about like how people like the. It usually ha it pertains to like God or, or like the, whoever your God may be. Right? So just think of any religion, it could be any one of those, those things. Or it could be, uh, what else is it? Somebody who just has like a, a connection with the divine. Or like the, the lower side of the divine, you know what I mean? It could be that too. But usually when it's that, this is flipped upside down. So this looks like an upright uh, religious leader. So um, something to do with the government. Or, I don't know. But that's about all I got for you, Gemini.